Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you guys doing? I hope that you guys are having a great Friday. Um, I want to talk to you about something that I don't think a lot of us deal with or talk about. Um, I want to talk to my brothers. I, I guess because I don't have sisters and I only, I have four brothers, no sisters, so... I relate better to men um, than I do women. Don't mean I have a problem with dealing with a woman, but I grew up in a household full of guys. So um, I guess that's how I communicate is like I'm talking to the guys, talking to the fellows. So I want to talk to my brothers, not the Russ brothers. I love y'all, by the way but all black men. And I want you to hear me really, really good because I'm going to say some things that are a little bit controversial and you may not agree with me, but I want you to hear me out, okay? Um, I want to talk to the brothers about the, the child support thing, okay? Um, I get it. There's a lot of guys, and there's some females too, that are against child support. They uh, don't think a woman should put a guy on child support or um, they feel like certain women abuse the system and seek out child support because they're being vindictive towards the baby daddy because things didn't work out or whatever, you know, for whatever reason. They're not seeking it out to really take care of the child. I won't deny that that happens. I, I definitely know that that happens. Um, it is unfortunate that that happens, but it doesn't mean that child support is not necessary. It doesn't mean that a man should not pay child support. The fact of the matter is, if you dipped in the pool, my brother, and a child came forth because you dipped in the pool, then that is your responsibility. And no matter how the child came about, you need to take care of your kid. Um, if you find out that you're doing your part and she's not doing her part and the kid is doing without, then you can always go back and say, hey, look, your honor, go back to court. Take her to, back to court and say, I have proof that so-and-so and so-and-so and -so is not taking care of my kid and I'm doing my part. I'm paying my child support on time. I'm, da -da 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 -da. I'm sacrificing. I'm working hard. And she's not taking care of my kid. And... <laughs> You can actually win custody or win more paternal rights for your kid if you to do if you were to do things the right way and don't go on social media and make all these videos complaining about it because they will come back to bite you in the butt later. Um, the fact, also, what I want to talk to you brothers about is prevention. Okay, um, brothers, there is a way to prevent you ever having to pay child support. Now I want you to come closely and hear me when I give you this foolproof secret on how you can not ever have to pay child support. Now this is only for dudes who don't have no kids. Uh, if you got kids, then yeah, you, you, you kind of stuck. You stuck like Chuck. But if, if you don't have any kids, I'm gonna tell you how not to have to pay child support. Are you listening? don't have kids or don't have sex. Now, I know y'all laughing at me because they're like, girl, bye, what do we do? We're going to have sex. Okay, you want to have sex because you can't do it without. Okay, if, <laughs> if you are that majority, then you need to protect yourself. And sorry, condoms don't work. They're not 100% foolproof. Brothers, those brothers on a budget, you know, you're working at the call center, and, you know, you don't have the options that are available to football players, actors, rappers, and what have you. Um, you need to consider having a vasectomy. Planned Parenthood does offer vasectomies on a sliding scale fee, okay? Um, there's a lot of men that have a problem with vasectomies, but I want you to hear me out, okay? Vasectomies are a great option 
they're almost 100%. They're more foolproof than the condom is. Um, <laughs> you won't have any kids. You get to control if you have kids or not. Now, if you are of, of the persuasion, like some of my hope tech brothers and some of my woke brothers, oh, that's just a way to spirit to, to stop the stop the population, stop the black population from populating. They don't want the black people to populate. Uh, okay, I got a, I got a, I got a workaround for that too, babies. You listening? Listen, there are not not the sperm clinics because those are expensive, but there are storage, sperm storage banks where you can have your sperm, you know, you go do what you do, and your sperm can be cyrogenically frozen, and they will store it for you and charge you an annual fee. And it's very affordable. You pay more on, for your weed in a year than you will pay to store your sperm. Store your sperm, okay? Until you find somebody who you are sure when you are ready and you find that person who you know will be a good mother, who you know will never keep your kid from you, who you know will never play games with you, who, somebody who you commit to, okay? Then you go get your sperm and bam. You can use a turkey based or you can do it in the clinic. And bam. You get to control who you bring here and when. Hence the term planned parenthood. You planned it that way. You know, people got all this to say about Planned Parenthood, but all Planned Parenthood is is <clears throat> taking accountability and responsibility for becoming a parent. And so many people just think that becoming a parent is supposed to be the, oops, I'm a parent. Oops, I'm pregnant. Oops, my girl's pregnant. No, <laughs> you get to control that. You get to plan that. It's actually planable. No, does it happen for most of us? No. Because people don't like me don't tell you what you could do. Don't give you the options. Because, you know, it could be religiously based. It could be, you know, <laughs> fear, cultural fear, religious reasonings or traditions or whatever. And people don't think outside the box and just say, hey, this is the way that you want to do this thing. And especially for us as a, as a, as a people, we can't afford to keep having children out of wedlock, okay? We can't afford to keep just popping babies out. That's not a blessing. I don't care what nobody said. It is not a blessing to keep popping babies out whose fathers are not in their lives, whose mothers can't take care of them, and end up becoming a statistic that is not empowering to the black people to keep having babies that we can't take care of and that we can't control. Nobody don't want to say it, but it's the truth anyways. You, know, you listen to the little church mothers and listen to them people and listen to that if you want to. Let me tell you something. That is not no blessing. That is not fruitful. <laughs> Just popping out babies. That's going to join gangs later or sell drugs. Come on now. That's not empowering to us. Oh, my kid not going to be like that. I, I'm going to make sure that they do this and they do that. Baby, they found something dependent on the most prominent black person in the nation, Obama. How many people playing on Obama now? Come on now. If they find something dependent on him, and he ain't had nothing. Came from a good family, had a great education, all this. Became the first black president of the United States. And they still found a reason to. <laughs> Y'all know I ain't lying. So that there's nothing that a black person can do in this country that's going to keep us from being statistics. Huh? Will and Jada, Bobby and Whitney, two black, rich black families that was investigated by Child Protection Services. Statistic. So, there it is. We're going to be a statistic regardless. We're going to be somebody's statistic. So, don't do you know, don't do this. Oh, my kid not gonna be a statistic. They're gonna have the best education. And they're gonna do this and they're gonna do that. Having the best education and making money and all that stuff that we call the American dream. 
yada 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 are not does not inoculate us when we become the statistics. Okay? And so I'm saying, hey, especially us, we as a people, we need to control what we bring here and when. We need to control that. Brothers, I know everything buck wild and, da, 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 and you wanna have sex. Brothers, you got to control your your procreation ability. Stop spilling your seed into everything. Stop it. It's not empowering us. Now, you can say it's the lady's fault with the, with the woo. She was wearing the Duke, Daisy Dukes. She was fine. She was thicker than a snicker. Come on. Brothers, you got to take ownership of your sexuality and your temptation and your sexual appetites. If that's what you want and that's what you like, that's what you want and that's what you like, but you still got to control that thing. You got to think about what you going, what's going to happen if you hit that. What's going to happen afterwards? You know, be smart about it. You're going to have a kid. Be smart about it. You know, plan. Don't do not do this with this random stuff. You know, I don't feel sorry for dudes with five and six baby mamas. You was just a fool. When I see all these rich people, these rich dudes making these videos, crying about having to pay millions of dollars in child support, I do not feel sorry for them dudes. Why? Because they have the money to be more responsible with who they procreate with. They have the money to control their ability to have kids. You know that no matter if you're rich, no matter if you're poor, or anything in between, that's a system that's set in place to keep black men down. I would agree with that. But you can't neglect your kid because you know that. You still gotta take care of your kid. You just stuck like Chuck, like I said. That's why I'm telling you this. Control where you spill your seed, bro. And you know, get your seed frozen, and then go get nip, nip, tuck, tuck. And that way, can't nobody, can't nobody pin you in that trap. You, know, you the trap. You know what a trap is? A trap is something that means there's something in the trap that you like, that tempts you. You know that ain't just all the baby mama fault. You. <laughs> she dangled the carrot and you knew it, and then you took a big old bite, knowing full well that it was a trap. Okay, so I don't feel sorry for those dudes. You know, you you stuck in baby mama drama and you paying millions of dollars in child support. That's your fault. You could have had a vasectomy. You could afford to keep your stuff at a sperm bank. I don't understand. <laughs> I just don't understand it. It's crazy. It's just, don't, don't come on social media crying. Why? Because you decided to dip in a, the wrong pool, nigga. That's why. Come on, my brothers. Come on. Our we, We've been lied to all these centuries that the black man's power is in his penis, his ability to procreate. That's been set in place since slavery. Baby, that's not your power. That is not how you get them... Um, any type of <laughs> say in this world because they use those same children that you procreate they'll take those same children put them up in the system and you won't have nothing to do with them you can't do nothing because they 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 were born to become statistics can't you see that <clears throat> it's time out you gotta think brothers think think brothers think think Please, I'm tired of seeing this. Well, that's all I had to say. Hopefully you listen. If not, it's on you. Keep paying that child support. Have fun. Smooch ass.